I won't ever find a day with them just like I did. And when I say hold yourself, this speakeasy serves craft cocktails alongside its signature snack, cheese. Why don't more bars serve signature snacks other than boring things like peanuts? They serve Cheetos. We should get walkie talkies. Well, those are one of the things that are on here. Gotcha. You know what would be fun is if mommy got a new watch, then we'd have the walkie talkie feature from our oh Apple my watches. Gosh. You're gonna, this is probably exactly what you want. A Keurig maker that makes a whole pot of coffee or can do a single cup. This might be what we need. Yeah. I've been telling him mm -hmm. that we're wasting lots of environmental, you know, pods. or wasting lots of pods. That's not good for the environment. That's and a hoax. Need... That's a Chinese hoax. No. Oh. It's better than having like two separate appliances for this. Going shopping at uh, Wooddale. Woodrift. Woodlawn, Woodshore, Woodtick, Woodview. Do you promise you won't karate chop me? No. Uh, <laughs> but it, I probably won't get karate chopped, you're saying? Oh, good. <laughs> Saturday is turning into kind of a shopping day. She needs a dress. Possibly she needs a dress. My sister's getting married soon. Everybody needs things. This is Sears. Sears looks kind of abandoned. Is this store like closing at some point? I think so. We don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Definitely gonna look at toys. I'm just here to hang out. I don't want to get left behind. Is this the dollar store? No, it is not the dollar store. Do we need a Nerf ball blaster? Probably. I know I'm a little risk averse, but man, this thing looks like small enough to like hurt your eyeball. Let's get out of here. And then on. Um... <laughs> Trapped in the toy section at Sears. It's kind of a neat store because it's so chilled out in here. I feel bad. Okay, let's go to Macy's. They've got a kids' play area there. What's this place called? Wood Forest. This is a huge. This is a huge mall. It says I have to hold the handrail and attend children. Okay. <laughs> you are a madman. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What the heck is wrong with this place? Why does this happen? Go, go, go. Why does this happen? Who would do something like that to a toilet? Okay. We're in the backpack section, and this backpack looks like it could fit what? A couple pencils. <laughs> yep. And that's all. And <laughs> that's true. It would be stuffed. <laughs> it would be stuffed. Daddy, I can still touch it. You're killing me, Jeeves. I love shopping. You get to try on like 10 I things just to get nothing. Shopping. Except, today we actually got four things for her. And there's things like this. We gotta wait in line. There's 20 people in front of us just to buy like <laughs> one thing. This line ain't moving. People are cranky here. I don't like this store. There's like a really rude manager dealing with a customer who's having some issues with her rewards account. Makes the whole experience really awkward for everybody. How's your pretzel bite? That is good. Are your hands sticky still with that madness? Saturday is a cheat day, by the way, diet-wise. So I get excited about uh, cinna pretzel bites. But I try not to overdo it on the uh, cheat day, because I don't want to feel terrible on Sunday. Look at this cool smoke, the steam coming out of here. We're trying to go to Rainforest. I'm kind of a sucker for, like, theme restaurants. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like touristy things very much. Whoa, dude, look at this. A heart and crossbones. Toki doki. I like it. We're not, no. I did. Seven dollars for a bag of rocks. Uh, no. Those are the cutest, tiniest little hot dogs. That was a... Wonderful meal. I think I remember eating at a rainforest like seven years ago and it wasn't very good. It was delicious today. Highly recommend that meal. We're gonna go find an arcade to play in, I think, here. Let's go this way. Daddy, what? We're super lost. We are looking for the arcade and it looked like it's supposed to be in Sears, but it's not. I'd like to talk to an employee, but there doesn't seem to be many people working here. We might have to go outside quick. It's in there. Cool. So the guy who started Pac-Man started with about $24,000. That's not nothing, but man, 
It's crazy. Is that like like a Miss Pac-Man kind of thing? Ghosts are chasing her? Here's a like, I don't know who's making this, but this stuff is great. This place is bonkers. What did you do? What did you just make us do? That was a dollar fifty already. Let's not try to do gambling games. Claw machines? Oh, she's obsessed with gambling. Not this again. A giant claw machine. Oh yeah, got it. I'm gonna try for the unicorn. One more time. Stay away from gambling, kids. Let's go. Get up. Go, 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 buddy, go. Look at this. It's like air hockey, but with like a kajillion pucks. There's like water dripping down in this game. I think this thing sprays at us, maybe. Let's try. This thing is firing water everywhere. That was awesome. We've been playing these games. We need a minimum of 400 tickets to get something good. We're gonna see how many tickets we have. How many tickets do you think we have? I don't think it's gonna be 400. Here we go. We have 433. <laughs> we have enough to get a prize. We're doing the complicated math of how to split up 423 points. Yeah, it works. Yeah, let's do it. Check out. You like your guy, your unicorn? Or your hedgehog? Sorry, you got the hedgehog. That little plushie only costs $20. Oh, well, we had fun trying to win the tickets for that thing. Let's go. We spent that many tickets? We spent $20 on games, so. No, it wasn't bad. It's like six o'clock, we're headed home. It's been a long day of uh, shopping at the uh, wood chip. Saturday evening traffic. Where's everybody going at six, seven o'clock at night?